Multiple allegations of misconduct have prompted an investigation of Western University's women's hockey program. A TSN report cites multiple sources saying allegations have been made against head coach Candace Moxley and Western's strength and conditioning coach Jeff Watson. Well, for more on this, we are joined live by TSN's Rick Westhead. Thank you so much for joining us, Rick. Uh, what have you learned so far about these allegations? Well, I've been working on this story for the last couple of weeks and talked to multiple people who have firsthand knowledge of Western's investigation. And I, I think this story starts about a year ago. Back in March 2022, I'm told, players went to the then head of the sports department at Western and said that they had concerns about the culture and the environment within uh, the Western's women's hockey program. It took more than a year for, get those to, for them to get those concerns heard and for the school to subsequently open an investigation. The allegations sort of range from, you know, what I think people would consider, you know, somewhat serious to definitely more serious. There's an allegation that players have raised that uh, when there was sexual harassment taking place while players were working out, uh, that at least one player went to the head coach of the women's hockey team, uh, expressed concerns, and the response from the women's hockey coach was that the player should perhaps wear longer shorts to avoid being in a situation like that. Uh, other players have told an independent investigator, again, Western has hired a lawyer in, in London, Ontario, to investigate these allegations. And players have told that investigator that uh, that the head coach has been critical of social media posts that they've made, saying that they're wearing clothing that's too revealing, and also alleged that she's told them that she doesn't care about their mental health, that they're all replaceable. Some of the tropes and, you know, we, we this is not the first time we've heard allegations like this uh, in the hockey world. I'm curious, you know, from what we understand, uh, Candace Moxley is, is on a leave of absence right now. Is there any indication that this is related to these allegations? I reached out to Candace Moxley and asked her for a comment. And of course, these allegations have not been proven and the state, the school um, has not committed to releasing the results of its investigation. Um, Ms. Moxley told me that she has never been suspended by Western and that she's currently on a caregiving leave. So there's uh, no reason not to take her at her word, and we don't know uh, whether or not the, the leave has any tie at all to what's going on. When it comes to, uh, you know, allegations of coaches and uh, inappropriate touching, you know, uh, Rick, it was just a couple of weeks ago that the, you know, Spain's uh, soccer's head coach got fired for that, you know, that kiss that mm -hmm. happened uh, at the World Cup. And, and I'm just curious, you know, how this, you know, situations like this and these allegations like this really kind of shine a light on, on the behavior between coach and players. What's your take on this? Well, of course, the, the, the whole issue of, of misconduct uh, in the sports world has been one that's been ramping up, not just in recent weeks, but in recent months and over the last couple of years, actually. And I think what this actually, this story at Western illustrates is how hard it is to find information within Canada's university and college system. You know, players in this case who've been interviewed by Western's investigator have asked how much transparency there's going to be, whether the results of this investigation will eventually be made public, whether even the players who are part of the investigation will get copies of the investigation findings. And they don't have any firm answers. And it sort of actually raises the question, who's watching universities and colleges? You know, uh, in this case, we're talking about hockey. So Hockey Canada has the jurisdiction to look after all kinds of different programs across our country, minor hockey. They have some input into what's happening even in major junior hockey, like the Ontario Hockey League and the other major junior leagues. But what about university hockey? And the answer is the Federation and other federations like the Ontario Hockey Association have no jurisdiction here. So what happens when there are investigations? Are they um, covered up or are they? is there transparency? And I think that this really does offer a new avenue of reporting for reporters across Canada to dig into, not to say it hasn't been done before, looking at universities and colleges, but moving forward, who's actually watching universities and colleges, demanding oversight, demanding accountability and transparency, and finding out what's happening? All very legitimate questions to be asked at TSN's Rick Westhead. We always appreciate your great reporting. Thank you so much. Thank you.